get closer to the release of Spawn, let's talk Mortal Kombat 11, Kombat Pack 2, and the rumors are really, really heating up because we have some people that we really, really want to be in the Kombat Pack 2, so the link for this article will be in the description. Now, according to Game Rant, this is the Mortal Kombat 2, Kombat Pack 2 characters that pretty much will be in the game so we know spawn releases in just a few weeks and everybody's excited about that but we're even looking further into the future and the combat pack 2 so now as i spoke before about the big three one being shiva we know that she's pretty much uh already in the game she's in the story mode so it's not unusual that the best idea to bank on any rumors in the gaming industry, but it would honestly be surprising if Shiva, Fujin, and Evil Dance Ash Williams did cut. The primary reason is that each of these three characters first appear in a leak, accurately detailing every Mortal Kombat 11 DLC character, DLC character so far, just with the addition of these three. This was then backed up in numerous instances. Ash Williams, for example, appeared on the advertisement in Fujin Games, Battles have since been found. In fact, it's almost to the point that any Mortal Kombat 11 rumor that doesn't list these characters is almost inadmissible in the greater scheme of things. Let's talk Striker. So people, Striker is a big of a strange addition as this doesn't necessarily come from any direct rumor or leak, but the belief Ed Boon teased his MK11 edition with a tweet. Boon has a reputation for teasing and trolling his fans, which means this should be met with equal skepticism as the most obscure of rumors. However, it's not entirely unprecedented either. A pre release rumor said a striker would appear in MK11 and would be voiced by John Cena. Since this rumor was not included in an accurate release rumor, it's worthy of a heavy dose of salt. Let's talk Michael Myers. Now, this is the one. I really want to be on the combat pack too. This is the character I'm rooting for. So perhaps the biggest leak in recent memory comes way of four chain where nothing should truly be believed. I said there have been plenty of rumors to originate on the anonymous image board, so it's worth its consideration. A post recently claimed that in addition to the big three after mentioned there's Takata Havoc and Halloween's Michael Myers would round out Mortal Kombat 11's combat pack too. On the other hand, on one end, this makes a ton of sense even though he was introduced in MK10. Uh, Takata is a fan favorite, October's ending brings Havoc into the fold, and Michael Myers will be a crossover for the forthcoming movie. Shiva, Ujin, and Ash Williams too. It has the potential to be even bigger than the first coming back, which itself is suspicious. In so many ways, this MK11 rumor sounds too good to be true. So we would have to wait and see more on the Michael Myers character. Now, let's talk the MK11 KP24 character leak. Yep, same guy. Now, contradicting the aforementioned Michael Myers leak, another one reared is heading insisting that the second combat pack would only include four characters. It's worth adding that. While many expected to have the exact number as the first MK11 pack, there's really no guarantee of this. This rumor indicates that Fujin, Shiva, and Ash Williams will be joined by Havoc. This rumor indicates that Spawn's gameplay trail will tease the addition of these four characters. So if it indeed shows off four new characters, silhouettes, this MK11 rumor may actually be confirmed. Stranger things have happened, so the best thing is to wait for the comeback to see if this is actually true or not. And Havoc is worth a double take. Not only does he will he appear on this uh, Mortal Kombat rumor, but in the Michael Myers one as well. This would seemingly indicate that both rumors are just guesses based on Joker's ending, or one is accurate and the other one is a lucky guess. Either way, both can't be true, but at the very least, this latter will be proved or disapproved sooner than later. So, I suggest everyone wait for the Spawn trailer, which should debut on March 8th, and we will get more information on this. So, what do you guys think about the MK11 Comeback 2 
characters so far. Are there ones you want to play with? Did they miss out on some important characters? Like this video, leave your comment, share it on Instagram, YouTube, as well as Facebook. More importantly, subscribe.